And while the global pandemic had most people staying away from each other to be safe, research shows that exposure to some germs can actually be key to building a child's immune system. So what does that mean now that we are all re-entering the social world? Amanda Shotsky has more. Well, these last 15 months have been very different, including for children. No in-person learning, parks closed, not a lot of social interaction, all things that have shown to boost their immune systems. While sanitizing and washing our hands has become the new normal, it's important to know that not all germs are bad, especially when it comes to young children. Having exposure to germs early on, we know is protective and helps with their developing immune system. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My niece Madison was just nine months old when the pandemic started, her sister Lydia under two. After little to no social interaction over the last year, they finally entered preschool this week. Three days later, they're already homesick. It's a situation that's pretty common, but has some wondering if isolation could have impacted immune system development. It is a complex thing in general, but we may see that children get sick because they were going to get sick anyway. Dr. Abby Olulade with Sharpery Steely says the good news is young kids strengthen their immune system in various ways, like through breast milk and even interacting with their environment. While she says it's simply too soon to tell the effects of over a year of distancing from others, parents can rest assured that it was the right choice at the right time. When it comes to the risks of COVID, those far outweighed this possible protection that they were going to get. As the kids get ready to go to camp or back to school, parents are encouraged to stick to the basics when it comes to keeping them healthy. Making sure that they have a healthy diet, making sure that they exercise, trying to watch their stress levels. Dr. Olulade says one of her biggest concerns is a decrease in kids getting vaccinated for other sicknesses during the pandemic, like the measles and chicken pox. Of course, she's encouraging all those who are eligible to get the shots. Amanda Shotsky, News 8.